Uh, hello friends, I'm Dr. T, a board certified cardiologist. Today we ask this question, can we lower your high blood pressure without medications? And we're looking at uh, exercise, we're looking at uh, diet, we're looking at restricting sodium in your uh, diet. Let's start looking at exercise. The British Journal of Sports Medicine published in 2019 uh, meta-analysis of 391 randomized control trials assessing exercise versus medication on systolic blood pressure. And they looked at aerobic exercise, they looked at resistance exercise like weights, and a combination of both aerobic and resistance exercise. And they compared this with five classes of blood pressure medication. They looked at AC inhibitors, the uh, angiotensin receptor blockers, the bio blockers, calcium channel blockers, and diuretics, the water pills. If you have high blood pressure and you are on medication, you take one of these uh, medications from one of these groups. And there were 29,000 uh, participants in medication trials and 10,000 exercise trials. And the conclusions were very clear. Across all populations, all type of exercises decrease the blood pressure. And when you looked, however, at people with high blood pressure to start with, and the combination of the aerobic and the resistant exercises, they had the highest uh, uh, benefit. In fact, they lower your blood pressure by 13.5 millimeters of mercury, and they define blood pressure in the body with uh, 140 or higher systolic uh, blood pressure. This is quite impressive and uh, the difference of exercise again was equally effective and as effective as uh, the blood pressure uh, medications regardless of what group you were in. And of course exercise is less expensive, has less uh, side effects and has a plethora of other health benefits beyond lowering your blood pressure. And Please uh, check this video on the magic pill, the secret of better health. I'll put you a link if you want to learn more. The other benefits of exercise. However, be careful not to engage in an exercise program without checking with your doctor. This uh, video is for information only and does not constitute medical advice. So let's look at the DASH diet. The West News and World Report 2023 again puts the Mediterranean diet, the DASH diet, as the top overall healthiest diets in America. What is the DASH diet? The DASH diet stands for the dietary approach to stop hypertension and uh, it was designed to prevent or lower high blood pressure and it was uh, done by the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute and they enrolled 502 people and they divide them in uh, three groups. The standard American diet, diet with a uh, lot more fruits and vegetables and a combination diet uh, in addition to more fruits and vegetables they look at low dairy and uh, fish and poultry and the meals were prepared in the research uh, kitchen and uh, people came in and had the meal at the research center and then were given a cooler with the meal for the weekends for instance so a very controlled study indeed and what was off the limits of the DASH diet meats what were the results the blood pressure in the control diet stayed the same the group in the fruits and vegetables as well as the combined diet had uh, a significant uh, lowering of their uh, blood pressure. But in patients who have blood pressure, they defined uh, 140 over 90 or higher. We had 11 millimeters of mercury decrease on the systolic, the higher number, the upper number, and five to six millimeters uh, decrease in diastolic blood uh, pressure. And of course, this diet also lowered the LDL, the bad cholesterol, and as you know, high cholesterol and uh, high blood pressure are both risk factors for heart disease and stroke. How long did it take to lower the blood pressure? It just took two weeks. Remember, this study, the sodium and the weight was stayed the same. This was not designed for people to lose weight. It is estimated that if we adopted this uh, diet in the general population, we will have a 17% decrease in coronary artery disease and 30% decrease in strokes. Really a big deal. Can we lower your blood pressure pressure without medications restricting salt in your diet. Does reducing salt in your diet lower your blood pressure? There are many studies now that look at this issue and the benefit is higher in people with high blood pressure but it's also seen in people with normal tenses, normal blood pressure. Higher the sodium reduction and higher the drop in blood pressure. How much? You could expect on average a drop of 10 millimeters of mercury in the systolic and 5 millimeters for the diastolic for the lower number 
and uh, that's quite a bit. And the, the Italian guidelines for Americans recommend maximum amount of sodium 2300 milligrams a day. That's equivalent of one tablespoon of table salt. The American Heart Association recommends even lower, 1500 milligrams of sodium, but the difference will be two to three millimeters drop in your blood pressure. The World Health Organization recommends 2000 milligrams of sodium a day. Of globally, people take about four grams, 4,000 milligrams of sodium a day, actually the double. And it may take your palate a while to adjust, but once it does, you actually find that a low sodium diet uh, tastes as good as the diet we used before. How can you lower your sodium in your diet? Let me give you uh, 10 tips. Number 10, eliminate or reduce processed foods. More than 70% of salt in your diet comes from processed foods. If you didn't learn anything from this video, but you learned that 70% of salt in your diet comes from processed foods, not it's not the salt shaker, it was all already worth your time. That's what the money is. Number nine, cut back on restaurant foods. And if you go out, ask them for a low sodium version. Many places will accommodate you. Number eight, cook at home. Do not add salt during the cooking, sprinkle it at the table. Number seven, if you eat salty foods, eat less of them. Number six, give sodium a rinse. If you bought a can of beans with high sodium, you could eliminate a significant amount of salt by just rinsing it. Number five, use salt substitutes. Most of the salt substitutes are potassium chloride. Just be careful if you have a kidney disease, you cannot use uh, potassium chloride. If you are on medication that raises your potassium, uh, potassium sparing diuretics, uh, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, you should not be taking uh, extra potassium without talking to your doctor. It could be dangerous. Number four, use herbs and spices instead of salt to flavor the food. Uh, number three, reading food labels and choose low sodium or no salt options. Number two, buy fresh or frozen products. They do not have added salt. And number one, look at the labels carefully and make sure when you buy a product, the number of milligrams of sodium is not higher than the number of calories. I'll give you an example. If you have a can of beans, for instance, if it says 500 calories, make sure it's not more than 500 milligrams of uh, sodium. So in this video we reviewed how we could lower your blood pressure without medications, looking using exercise, dash diet and limiting uh, salt in your diet and putting things into perspective. 70% of your antihypertensive regimen will be lifestyle and 30% will be medications if you need them. Set things up. Exercise, you could cut down your blood pressure in by 13 points dash diet by 11 points, restricting sodium to 2300 milligrams and another 10 points. Total 34 points, 34 millimeters of mercury. You could lower your blood pressure without the medications. Uh, remember your health is your most precious asset. It's too important to be delegated to others. Take control. See you next video.